Today, we will explore one of the most beautiful right-angled triangles, which is none other than Pythagoras 3, 4, 5 triangle, and this question will blow your mind. In this triangle, we inscribed a semicircle like this, where both these lines are touching the semicircle at these points, and the center of this semicircle lies somewhere on the hypotenuse. Our job is to find the radius of this semicircle. So, can you solve it? Okay, as a first step, let us draw this line which will be perpendicular to this side of the triangle. It will meet the hypotenuse at this point. What do you think this point will be? You can't figure it out? Okay, let me give you a hint. When we have a circle and a tangent drawn to it, then we know that the radius is always perpendicular to the tangent line. So, this line will be the radius of this semicircle, and hence this point will be the center of this semicircle. Because remember I said that the center of this semicircle lies somewhere on the hypotenuse. So let us label this radius as R. Similarly, if we draw this line which will be perpendicular to this side of the triangle, then it will also pass through the center, right? Therefore, this is also the radius of this semicircle, and thus it will also be R. Oh, look here! We have three right angles in a quadrilateral, so what will be this remaining angle? Yeah! Right! It will also be a right angle, and thus this quadrilateral is a rectangle. Now since the width of this rectangle, or this side, is of length r, and the length of this rectangle, or this side, is also r, therefore this is a square, and thus all four sides will be of length r. Wow! Noise! Now, consider this side of the triangle. This is of length 4, and this piece is of length r. So this piece will be of length 4 minus r. Next, consider this side of the triangle. This is of length 3, and this piece is also of length r. So this piece will be of length 3 minus r. Now consider this right triangle. What will be its area? It will be base times height divided by 2, isn't it? So it will be r times 3 minus r over 2. Now consider this triangle. What will be its area? It will be r times 4 minus r over 2. And now consider this square. Its area will simply be r times r, right? Multiply and divide by 2 to get this as r times 2r over 2. So what will be the area of this 3, 4, 5 triangle? It will simply be the area of this triangle plus the area of this triangle plus the area of this square. So it will be this plus this plus this. But this area is also equal to its base times height over 2 or 3 times 4 over 2, isn't it? Therefore, equate both of them to this. Now write 2 as a common denominator like this. Also take r as common from the numerator, and this will become r times 3 minus r plus 4 minus r plus 2r. Oh, look again! Both these r and this 2r will cancel each other, and we will be left with r times, this will become 7. Also, cancel 2 from both these sides to get 7r equals 12, or r equals 12 over 7, and that's it. This was such a cool problem. Now, if you enjoy my videos and want to support my channel, consider becoming a Patreon, as it helps me create more awesome content for you. Link is in the description. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.